Welcome to Joysk.com. In this video, we will talk about certain things that exist on Earth and in our universe that defy the normal laws of physics that we experience in everyday life. Just a heads up, all of the items we chose to put on this list have already been proven to exist, and we know what they are. This means we left out things like dark matter, dark energy, tachyons, and so on. Anyways, let's get started. Number 1. Superfluids Normal fluids that we see in everyday life act in a similar fashion. Let's use water as an example. Water can easily be contained in something like a water bottle. The water will also settle after a long period of time, the water will have different temperatures at different locations, and water has some viscosity and friction, meaning that water molecules will bump into each other when they move around. However, superfluids have none of these properties. Superfluids can move through solid containers that they are in, they can defy gravity and climb up and out of containers that they are in, they will have the exact same temperature throughout the entire fluid, and they have zero viscosity which means that superfluid molecules will never bump into each other. Now superfluids do have some amazing properties, but there is a reason why we don't see them in our everyday lives. In order to make a superfluid, you need to cool down a substance like helium, the gas that we put in balloons, down to negative 271 degrees Celsius. It is around this temperature that the helium atoms start behaving in mysterious ways. Instead of each individual atom being distinct from one another, they all essentially become clones of one another and move together as a whole, not as individual atoms. There are a few potentially massive applications for superfluids like being involved in high precision spectroscopy, playing a part in super accurate gyroscopes, and they can be involved in the next item on our list. Number 2. Freezing Light We all know light as this extremely fast particle wave thing that travels at about 1 billion 80 million kilometers per hour. In fact, light is so fast that it takes one second to travel around the world seven times. However, the speed of light slows down depending on what it is traveling through. For example, the speed of light through air is still about 1 billion kilometers per hour, but the speed of light through oil is about 771 million kilometers per hour. It's slower, but still very, 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 very fast. Now using this principle that light can slow down, scientists at Harvard decided to see what would happen if you shot a very particular wavelength of light at a super cooled substance like a superfluid. The results were astounding. What happened was the super cooled substance was able to slow down the speed of light from 1 billion 80 million kilometers per hour to 20 kilometers per hour. That's about as fast as an average person's running speed. Now because of the success, they tried the experiment once again, except with a slightly different wavelength of light. They tried the experiment again, and this time they brought the speed of light down from 1 billion 80 million kilometers per hour to zero kilometers per hour. They had successfully stopped and frozen a beam of light. Now, potential applications for this achievement include being used in supercomputers, power grids, and high sensitivity sensors. Number three, supersolids. Supersolids are very similar to superfluids, except with one big difference. Supersolids are both solid and liquid at the same time. This means that they have all of the properties of a superfluid, like the ability to move through containers, defy gravity by climbing up walls, having atoms not bump into each other, and have a completely even temperature throughout the substance. However, it is somehow still a solid. Supersolids were merely theoretical for about 100 years up until 2017. This is when scientists at Zurich and MIT were able to create one out of ultra-cold quantum gas and a specific wavelength of light. The combination of these two things made the gas crystallize and turn into a solid while still maintaining superfluid properties. That's amazing. Number 4. Quantum Levitation and the Meisner Effect As we've already seen so far in this video, weird things start to happen at very low temperatures. One of these weird effects occurs when you cool down certain metals to temperatures typically below negative 70 degrees Celsius. 
So normally what happens when you put a metal near a magnet is that the magnet will send its magnetic field through the metal, which will attract the metal and bring it towards the magnet. However, when the metal is cooled down to its superconducting temperature, it will no longer let the magnetic fields run through it and will force the magnetic fields to go around it. This causes the metal to be trapped inside a magnetic field rather than attracting or repelling. And so when this metal is trapped inside that magnetic field, it gives a levitating appearance. Superconductors have plenty of other weird properties that we are not going to get into. However, they have been around quite a long time and are involved in some vital parts of society today. For example, MRI machines are made of superconductors along with particle accelerators and parts of our power grid. Number 5. Acoustic Liquid Levitation Sticking to the topic of levitation, one very strange thing that can happen with sound is levitation of both solids and liquids. Sound travels in a wave and each wave has a specific wavelength. What happens when you send two identical sound waves at each other, they create small spots or nodes where objects can be trapped inside if they are small enough to fit within the node. There are plenty of uses for this technology in scientific research. However, my favorite use is that someone used acoustic levitation to make a tractor beam that can pick up small objects. Awesome. Number six, quantum entanglement. You've probably heard of this before, but don't really know what it means or why it is so strange. Here's a quick and oversimplified explanation of quantum entanglement. All particles have something called spin. These spins can only occur in two directions, up or down. One important thing to note is that each particle's spin direction can change at any time. Now here's the catch. Each particle has one brother particle or twin particle that will always have the opposite spin of its twin, no matter what. So for example, if twin one has an up spin, then twin two will have a down spin. Where things start to get a little bit weird is if twin one decides to change his spin from an up spin to a down spin, twin two will automatically change his spin from a down spin to an up spin. Why this astounds scientists is because this change in communication between these two twin particles occurs at a speed that is at least 10,000 times the speed of light. We don't know how the communication between these two particles can be faster than the theoretical speed of the universe, and we don't know how it works. Some say it is because of higher dimensions that we haven't discovered yet, and some say that there is another field of physics that we don't know about. Number 7. The Bose-Einstein Condensate Most people think that there are three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. If you completed high school science, then you probably know that there is a fourth state of matter called plasma. However, if you're a PhD student in physics, or a YouTuber who makes videos about things that defy the laws of physics, you'll find out that there are 20 states of matter, some of which we have covered already, like superfluids and supersolids, and another one is called the Bose-Einstein Condensate. As we've already said, things start to get weird at temperatures that near absolute zero, and this is no exception. Free energy is what allows a group of atoms to move around. The less free energy these atoms have, the less they are able to move. Now as the group of atoms cools down, they lose their free energy. And so as they approach absolute zero, they begin to clump together and become identical to one another. Eventually this group of atoms can cool down to the point where they will lose so much free energy that they will start behaving as if they were a single atom rather than a group of atoms. And eventually, if this group of atoms reaches one billionth of a degree above absolute zero, we get something called a Bose-Einstein condensate. This is when a group of atoms turns into just one giant clump of matter, and instead of acting like matter, or a solid liquid or gas, it acts more like a beam of light. This means that certain substances can get so cold that they will turn into a kind of laser beam that doesn't really move around. Very, very strange. Now there are so many other items that we couldn't cover on this list, so if you want to see a part 2 to this video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And remember to check out Joysk.com, your online shopping marketplace where you can buy items and get free 2 hour shipping on select locations, or you can sell your own items and start your own online business. Thank you very much for watching.